princess. Yes, mommy. Even a blind man can see through your joy. Mm. That's why I've come to know what gladdens my daughter's hearts. <laughs> mommy, my joy knows no bound. I'm obvious. <laughs> okay, since you've noticed, I was with Ken yesterday. Hmm? And he... He did what? He proposed. I knew it! <laughs> My daughter is in love with him. Yes, mommy, I am. You what can say that again. <laughs> Let me ask you. Is it not rather too early for you to accept this kind of a man? Ah, uh, come off it, mommy. Ken has always been there. It's just that Prince Obidi Ken was in the picture, so... But I love Ken. Never mind. Anything that delights your heart, it's okay by me. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, mommy. Let me retire. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, mommy. Good night. Good night, my baby. <laughs> What are you saying, Ozona? What I'm saying is that you should have waited for my brother's burial. Then after you can get married. Are you stupid? No, wait, Ozona. Are you sick or something? No, tell me why I should wait for one year. Did I kill your brother? Was I the one that killed him? But he loved you. He loved me and so what? Should I eat his love or chew it? No, you tell me. You better choose to die. Can you tell me a right-thinking man who would go and banter with armed kidnappers? Well, he did that because he wanted to die. Now he is dead. Nobody should blame me for his death. Do I make myself clear? Have better things. Adako, Adako, wait. Get your hands off me! I came to commiserate with you over this irreparable lust. He was to be my son-in-law. We're so fortunate. Please accept my condolences. <laughs> Who did I offend? Why my son? <laughs> my son was a harmless boy. He did no wrong. <laughs> His death is still a shock to me. But take heart, Lolo. I pray the good Lord will grant you the fortitude to bear this loss. Che, obidike, obidike. Eh, tu a kisi weje. Mmm. It's okay, Lola. Please take heart. I, I know you have the right to your life. But you know things are supposed to be done in conformity with the tradition. Oh, please shut up your mouth. Look at him. Now let me make something very clear to you, Uzuma. Ken proposed to me and I accepted. I mean, do you expect me to remain a spacer for the rest of my life just because I, I, I loved your brother, I guess, and he's dead? What do you want me to do? My dear, if you want to attend my wedding, you can. If not, I have my life to live. And please do me a favor. Don't touch me again. Adago. I have to take my leave now. My queen, thank you very much for your concern and sympathy. You are welcome, Miguel. When is the burial ceremony? The day after tomorrow. We have to do it fast as a result of some traditional demands. It's okay. I will be there. Lola, it's okay. Stop crying, okay? Please. Take care of yourself. Thank you very much. Go in peace.
sadaku. Hello, mommy. Yeah, Adako, where are you? Mom, I am so sorry I left the palace. Mommy, I'm sorry. It's Uzona. He would not let me have peace. Yes, who else? Obidike's younger brother. Uh, oh, come off it, Mom. Why, Mommy, why don't you just come to where I am, please? Yeah, I'm back. I'm just back in here. Just be there. I'm coming right away, okay? Okay, Mommy. I, I'm waiting for you. Thank you. It's okay. And as for you, you are still here, right? Continue standing there. Mm -hmm. When you're done, when you're tired, you take your slimy self out of here. Adapt. Ah. Calm down, yeah? Calm down. Try to understand where I'm going. See, I have something to tell both of you. And I, I think people should just listen to my advice. Wisdom. See. I'm no longer comfortable staying in this palace. And I think we should just leave, all of us. Let's just go. We're going to see. Why do you want us to leave the palace? Thank you, God. So you will tell me eh, that it's not very obvious for you to see that the queen has turned into a shadow of herself. She doesn't know what's happening here. Nobody knows what's happening to her. She doesn't talk to anybody. Likewise, nobody talks to her. And you expect me to stay here? What am I doing here? I'm not comfortable and I want to go. Because it's not her fault. Anybody in her shoes. We do the same. Ah, story. You don't expect her to be happy. The death of LBDK is still fresh. <laughs> See, she's overdoing this thing. She's overreacting, if you must know. Eh, I know the death is painful now, but uh, uh, it's high time she, she, she overcame the whole of, of, of this thing. Uh, uh. See, I'm not comfortable. That's what, just what I'm trying to tell you. It's too much. Her reaction is too much. Ah, this is the time the queen hit us most. You should stand by her. <laughs> You're preaching your own to yourself. I've said it before. If I have the opportunity, I will walk out of these premises and nothing will bring me back. I can't stay here like this now. Bet me, very soon, eh, she will turn both of you up and down and be slapping you anyhow because of her, her, her emotional state. As for me, I am leaving if the opportunity comes, oh, like I said. If you want to stay, oh, if you don't want to stay, join me, let's go. Think well, oh. I am from the time of our ancestors, our tradition has been the code of our existence. Since Obidike's body is not within reach, Your Majesty, you have to provide the following items for his burial tomorrow. A giant native cow, a feeble, a white cloth, a white cock, seven cakes of palm wine, and a local thread. This is our tradition, and you have to provide them. My priest is here. My priest. Iwe, Iwe, Lala. Iwe, Iwe. Hey, hey. Wow. Open the gates. Open the gates. In the prison. Open the gates. Open the gates. My son, we are happy that you are finally back. How did this happen? Mm. Father, it's a long story. Very long story. But she saved me. So she will be in a better position to tell you how it happened. Ah, my daughter. Please tell us how exactly did it happen? See, Jack. You have to collect the money and release him. 20 million naira is not here. Ah, Mini. Where the was you? Huh? I have told you not to rush things. Real men know they rush things. Now listen. 
I am in charge here. I have it all mapped out. Mm -hmm. Now that his parents is ready to see him, it gives us the opportunity to increase the ransom. We have to collect the 20 million naira first. Sam! Now listen. Once we get back there, huh? we are going to demand for 30 million naira. 30 million naira? 30 million naira. No more, no less. Now let me tell you. If his parents refuse to pay that 30 million, eh? I am going to cut off his hands and legs and send it back to them so that they will understand that we are serious businessmen. Jack, I trust you. That one, I throw you yeah. Correct. Follow you from back. <laughs> My guy, let us start walking immediately. No time. <laughs> Hey, no, no, no. Vico, I can't go any further. My leg is really hurting me. It's, it's too bad. See, there's no point. This will catch us. Yeah? They will not. They will not. They will be asleep in the next three days. Yeah. Enough time for me to call police to arrest them. They will not come. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Hi. My heart is not far from here. Let's go. Yeah. Yes. There are people I was attending to. Let me rush back to the bush and get my boil of herbs. I will be right back. Just relax. Oh, you will be fine. I will make sure you are fine. I'm coming. Sorry. Thank you. to arrest those hoodlums. Hello? Yes. They have to pay for their evil deeds. Look at what they did to you. Thank you. You know, you amaze me. You don't know me. You don't know anything about me. And yet you saved me and you treated me. Who are you? I am Dubim. 
to them. Okay, you live here alone, no family. My grandmother. Late. My sympathy. <clears throat> well, I am Obidike, Prince Obidike, heir to the throne of Ndiago Kingdom. There is something about you. I am nothing but a poor healer. Only remember the time of need. Um, <clears throat> my son, you know that you are the son of a lion, and the son of a lion can never ever be lost in a foreign land. We thank the gods that you are finally back home. Dibim, thank you for saving my son. May our ancestors bless you. Dibim, Chineke Goziegi. Please, you all should stop thanking me. Let all the praises be unto the Most High God. Ozonna, <coughs> go and call Olo. Tell him to come immediately that they are not spirits. It is so ridiculous, flesh and blood. He's here. Go and call him. had a long meeting with my staff today. So sorry, mommy. <laughs> Welcome. It's okay. Thanks. Did King DK call you today? No. Why do you ask? Is there any problem? Um, not a problem. Uncertainty. He called me earlier in the day and uh, told me that Prince OBDK is back alive. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, why would you believe King Dickie? You know that man is always filled with humor. I mean, he plays a lot. I'm sure he was pulling your legs or something else. <laughs> There's no way Dickie will be back. <laughs> Anyways, he told me that the burial of Prince Obidike, scheduled for tomorrow, has been cancelled. That a healer found him and brought him home alive. Mommy, you're serious? Yes, my daughter. You're very serious. Nothing compares to the joy you brought to my life. I was like an island before I met you. But today, I feel like multitude. <laughs> you know, I always thought about the things that my brother told me that Adaku said. And the way she jumped to another man so quickly, without having to rethink. And it always made me feel like life was worthless. 
And then you came into my life and things just changed. In you, I found a friend. In you, I found a good person, an ally. Say no more, my friends. I am here. I will only leave if you no longer need me. Uh, uh, Biko, don't go there. I need you and I'm not asking you to leave. Uh, you've really done so much for me. You saved my life and I owe you. Hmm? And feel free with me, okay? Uzona, tell me, is it true that your brother will be the case back? I mean, back alive? Yes, he's back. Hell and heart. For real? God has done this for us. How is your newfound love? It will interest you to know that Obidike will be delighted to grace your wedding. Excuse me. It is. We can sort it out. You've not done anything wrong. I am very, very fine. Can't you say it? Oh, okay, wait, hold on, hold on, please. Okay, fine. Um, it seems like you don't like this place. Maybe I'll take you elsewhere where we can have a quality time together, okay? Just take me to the mailbox, please. Father, what is wrong with her? She has been complaining about a pain in her neck for days now. I think it is getting worse. Go and get the car ready so, so that we we'll take her to the hospital immediately. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Forget about taking her to the hospital. Eh? By the power of the Most High God, I will heal her. Eh? Igwe, just get me red oil, bitter cola and mm. honey. Go inside and get all those items. Right here, Igwe. Let's go to our quarters and talk. You and I. To go to your quarters. Talk about what? I thought I told you I want you to be my girlfriend. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> eh? See this, this demented is... goat. There's nothing I won't see in this life. Oh. Come, take a very good look at me from head to toe. Do I look like your type? See, let me give you a piece of advice. Hmm? Go into the village. There are girls of your, your class. Very cheap maidens. Go and make one your girlfriend. Don't even think about me. And let me warn you, eh? If you do anything in this palace, I'll make the queen chase me out of this place. I will kill you, idiot. Hey, I don't feel the place anymore. Hmm? Lord. How did this happen? Duran, is that some sort of magic? Hey. A miracle, my lord. Eh? <laughs> Just like that. Mm hmm? Ah, <laughs> uh, we will ever remain grateful to you for this trip. Thank you, Michael. Oh, So it is true. You came back all this while you never bothered to ask about me. Who are you? Do I know you? Are you kidding me? Have we met before? This is Adak, your wife to be. What are you saying? Wait. Don't tell me you're pretending not to know who I am because of that bullshit. Enough! 
call her a bush girl one more time and you'll see a side of me you've never seen all your life. Ah. And you also screaming at me because of that thing. And I'll scream at you again and again and again. What happened in there? Huh? Let me remind you. What happened in there? You promised me you would never leave me, right? But you left. You left me in there to die. And you ran away with another man. No way. Was that what they told you? That's exactly what happened. That's not true. That is what happened. I did not leave you for any man. I never left. I am still here for you. Leave my house. Now. <laughs> so what happened to me? Get out of my house. Do not touch me again. Get out of my house. Get out! Listening to me, whatever they told you is not true. I never left you for any other man. I mean, where, where do I move to? From you to who? One, eh? Think about it. Baby, I love you and I want you back, please. I've been missing you all this while, believe me. Hey, hey. I should go. Mother, I have never been humiliated like this all my life. Calm down and tell me what happened. Mother, can you imagine? I went to see Obidike so we can reconnect. But he gave me the insult of my life, Mother. I am not going to take it. I can't even bear it. But my daughter, when did you switch from Ken to Obidike? Mother, what am I supposed to be doing with Ken? I don't love him. Obidike is the man after my heart. I do not love him as much as I love Obidike. Yes, he was lost, but now he is back and mother, I need him. You have to do something. No? It's okay, my daughter. Is it not Obidik and the family? I hold the key to their lives and if they mess up, I will lock them out and throw away the keys. So we don't need to be worried. Let's go. Eh? Mother, just do something because... It's okay, calm down, let's go. Is too much. Let's go. Come on, my love. Eh? Look at your food. It's untouched. Can you please eat something? You know we are here to unwind. Okay, I need you to brighten up. Just put a smile on that face of yours, okay? Oh, oh, oh. Don't you like the food? Is any other thing the matter? Okay, fine, fine. Um, I brought you here because I know this is your preferred spot. Fine, but if you don't like this place, uh, you can always go to uh, any continental or Chinese restaurant and have something better. I am not hungry. Thank you. Um, fine, fine. Um, oh, is any other thing the matter? Yes. <sighs> Baby, listen, okay, whatever the problem is, I want you to know that I'm always there for you, anytime, any day. Thanks for your concern, but I am fine. Yes, I have something bothering me right now, but I will let you know when I'm done sorting it out. For now, I am not hungry and I don't want to be here, please. Uh, um, baby, listen, listen. You need to calm down. Let's have something. Can we go? Can, can we just go? Is it possible? Listen, see, we are here to relax. And, and, and that's what I want to achieve. You just... I'm waiting for you in the car. Baby, are, are you leaving me? Baby! Baby, you're, you're leaving me? Okay, see this one. Now you're coming back. Yes. Hey, you needed to have been at the palace just now, now, now. Hey. You see what happened. Hey. What hey. took you so long in the match? <laughs> the prince was taking Dubim out of the palace. From nowhere, princess just appeared. Though, <gasps> and she tried to stop them. You needed to have seen the way prince was pushing her. He pushed her so hard that she nearly fell down and injured herself. If not for the intervention of the king. Hey! Today's war was another thing. Hey. Huh. 
Are you serious? Ah. Hey. He didn't even consider the fact that the princess's mother is a rich woman. Yes. He treated her like a piece of rag. Yes, ah, I felt wow. Surprised. In the presence of that so-called bush girl. Yeah. Hey. Mm -hmm. Me. I don't have anything to say. All I know is that the prince now, right now, is, is madly in love with, with Dubim. Hey, I felt wow. Mm -hmm. How do you think that the prince is overreacting? Over what? The princess I know is not overreacting. Mm, you're just talking on her, but at least that thing. Why would she leave him in the hands of the kidnappers and come back to the palace? Sure, it was Dubim that, that, that saved him. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's why he's in love with her. He's so madly in love with her like this, eh? Hey. Hey. I've never seen this one. The last time it was on that side. This one, it was more. I beg, they sent me to go and call Ono. Earlier, I go the better for me. I don't want trouble. My princess. I heard you refused to eat. <laughs> and you're here crying. What is it? Please talk to your mother. But I am not hungry. It's Obidike. What? Obidike then raise his wretched hands on you? It would have been better if he did. Then why are you crying? Mother, I still love Obidike. I want him. Just do something, please. It's okay. Adako, are you sure you're okay? Are you going berserk? No, mother. I would rather go berserk than not marry no BTK. Just do something. Else I'll kill myself and I mean it. Please just leave me alone, I'm not hungry. Leave me alone. <laughs> My queen, what is happening now is not our making. And I don't care whose fault it is. A low life cannot contest with my daughter over Obidike. It is not possible. With due respect, my queen. We all thought my son was dead. And your daughter got herself another suitor, whom she came and introduced to my son, Uzanna. And he's alive now. Nobody pulls up stake to a honey of a bitter leaf. And I hate shoes breakers. Queen Rebecca, we have to devise a means of solving this problem once and for all. And you know that. King DK of Ndiago, you know I'm a woman of few words. Let us revert to the status quo. Else! Ignore her. She's just a desperate cycle. Nothing more. Oh, I do not want to be an object of discord. Let me go back to my world. We are no one will remind me how empty I am, how lonely I am fated to be, how destiny took away my families. Please, let me go back to my world, please. Can, can you stop saying this? Stop saying this. Be cool. Hmm? Listen to me. Your world is my world. Your grave is my grave. You saved my life. Therefore, I owe you. And I'll spend the rest of my life with you. Hmm? I love you. Why do you like to scare somebody all the time? What's your problem? I noticed how you often look at her. See, whatever you are not seeing in your mind about her should better stop now. Because if the queen gets to find out, she's going to turn your back into the girl of Ndiago. She's the one to tell us who to love in this palace. 
why Prince Obidike has two women at war because of him. You just called the prince. Remember? The prince is like a rock in the sea, whereas you are just like a chaff in the wind. See, better be careful, oh. Did you quarrel with Prince before leaving the palace? How can I be quarreling with the Prince? What happened in the palace? Hmm. Nothing really happened. The King reminded the Prince that he was not against his feelings for Dubem. But he should remember the relationship they have with Queen Rebecca. And that is why the, the King wants uh, the Prince to marry Adaku, Rebecca's daughter. And if the Prince refuses, the king's petroleum business and functionality will be in a serious jeopardy. Is there any other thing you want to hear? No. Cho, 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 cho. Every time you want to hear everything. Don't stop me again, no? Okay. Here she is, my queen. Okay. Good. My queen, for me. Yeah, sit down. Thank you. <clears throat> but then, okay. it will be wicked of me if I do not acknowledge what you feel for my son and how you saved his life. I do. But the situation Iwe and I found ourselves now is very perilous. Please, how best do I pay you to leave Obidike? My queen, every woman is a mother. I know how you are feeling. When I fell in love with Obidike, I never knew his background. I loved him for nothing, and I will leave him for nothing. My queen, I'm sorry.
morning, my angel. Sorry I woke you up. Just to be sure you are human. Of course I am every bit of it. Good morning, sir. And how are you? Good. Please, have to go to the kitchen and prepare something for us to eat. Your... your wife, sir? She's abroad with my three sons. Sorry, you need to get to the kitchen and prepare something for us to eat. We have so much to discuss. Okay, sir. Good day, my okay, princess. Okay, my uh, Have you seen her? Uh, not yet, my prince. You've not seen her? We searched all over the village. There was no trace of her. We forget. Huh? Oh, we forget. How can my mother give such an order? You carry it out without letting me know. Huh? You're the chief guard, for God's sake. You should work with me. If they tell you to do something that has to do with me, you consult me. That's why I'm the prince. Just pray I find her. Can you hear me? Pray I find her. If not, I'm going to lock you up for the rest of your life. You spend all your life in jail. Get out of my sight. Go, go and continue looking for her. As you can see, we are trying to sort out some issues and... Uh... And what? I give you three days. Three days to come and pay my daughter's bride price else. Rebecca, ask what? Why are you so self-centered? We are here telling you that our son left without traces. And you are talking about paying your daughter's bride price. Must everything be about you? Lola, it's okay. Calm down. Sit. Igwe. Am I the one she's talking to in this manner? When Rebecca, calm down. As you can see, she made that statement on the spur of the moment. Kindly forgive her manners. In that case, I'll give you three days. Else, I'll withdraw all the ties linking me to this family, especially the business aspects. Um. You shouldn't have spoken to her the way you did. Anyway, please, allow me to say my mind. If not for the respect I have for you, I would have given it to her. The worst that she would hate me or regret her life. Saying anything. Eh? You asked me to come here and see you. You're not saying anything. Can you talk to me? Oh. 
Ja. Is this the place? Yes, sir. Who is he? Calm down. I will explain everything to you later. But first, let me apologize to you. I am sorry the way I left. I was told in plain terms that we don't belong together. I had no options. I was frustrated and I left. But I can see that I'm wrong. I promise never to leave you again. I promise never to leave you too. Well said. You still haven't answered my question. Who is he? He's Chief Ben, my father. Your father? Good day, sir. Good day, Obidike. My daughter had told me so much about you already. But meanwhile, enter your car and drive after me. There are a lot to talk about. Let's go to my house. Wait, wait, wait. I, I once asked you about your family and you told me that your grandmother is late and you have no one else. So, next thing you show up with a man you say is your father. I'm confused. What's going on? to be silent on me. Okay? Whatever it is, just say it. Please. Just say it. We can only sort it out. Okay? Okay. I think it's high time I break the silence. Okay. Yeah, so? The truth is, you, you, See this thing, I mean, us. It's not going to work anymore. I don't understand what you mean. Um, please, please, just. I know you're joking. Please, I know you're joking. I, I, and this, jo this joke is, is too expensive. Please. I, I am not please. joking. I am not. I accepted to be with you because I thought I had lost to with you. Boy is back now. Everything is falling into places. He is the one that I want. Please, listen, am, listen my sorry. love, please don't do this to me. Listen, listen, listen. Don't do this to me. I beg you. I beg you. Okay? Whatever it is, we can only sort it out, please. Not now that my mother is eager to meet you, now you want to disappoint me. You just have me tell your mom that I found my lost love. It is not working out. I'm sure she's old enough to understand. Listen. Please don't do this to me, please. I beg you. Listen, listen, please, please. Okay, okay, listen. Whatever it is, we can sort it out. Please don't do this. Listen, don't do this. Me. It's not going to work, please. Goodbye, please. Please, please. please, my princess, don't do this to me. Wow. You are welcome once again. Are you the same Chief Ben Energy? I have been hearing Don't worry this. no more. My name is Chief Ben Energy, the CEO of Bentraco Petroleum Limited. Tell me this is not a dream. Wow! You are not dreaming. Dubem here saved my life. When all my wealth put together could not have. And after she told me the story of her life, I decided to become the mother and the father she never had. I've adopted her as my own daughter, and I've just made her 
the regional manager of my company in the southeast. Really? <laughs> Dubim, what a transformation. <laughs> yes. I came with her to the your palace so that I can get acquainted with my prospective in-laws. Dubem, my daughter, please forgive me for the way I treated you. Please. Sorry. Um, Ozona, when you go inside, tell the ladies that we have special visitors here. They should get something for them to drink. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this can't stay. No one toys with. As a matter of fact, your dowry must be due to me. My friend, speed up! Will you speed up and just stop mopping me? Uh, it will be grand. Yes. Wow. I will invite all the kings in this kingdom. I am returning! Good afternoon, sir. Pardon my manner, sir. You see? This confirmed what I've heard. How you've been threatening my in-laws and even threatened to withdraw their license and bring their family business down. I want to ask you this very question. Do you still want me to continue to help you or to bring you down from where I've placed you? Please forgive me, sir. Please, Uga, I'm sorry. I was not speaking of him. Are you okay? Shh! Alona Pugge! Yeah, that's right.